Hey, what's up? This is Jared with State of Tech, and we're going to look at managing your home screens on your Moto X phone. Now, it has stock Android, which means that uh, there isn't as much customization as some other phones. Um, over time, I've gotten used to the customization that you can do on the Samsung Galaxy phones or the HTC phones um, and of course there is things that we can do but there isn't as much customization but let's take a look at some of the features that are available of course we can put our apps in folders which is great because if you have a giant app drawer full of apps uh, like I do you you don't want to scroll all the way through all your apps to get to the letter S or something like that. Sometimes it's just easier to group apps into folders so that you have them available quickly. So if I wanted to add an app to a folder, for example, maybe I want to start a games folder, I can tap and hold and drag this app to uh, the space that I want um, that app to go to. Now, uh, one app is there, that's fine, but if I wanted to add a second app, uh, for example, let's add this game. I can just drag it right on top of that app and uh, um, what it's going to do is create a folder. So now two apps are in that folder. If I tap on that, I can add a name. So let's just call this one Games. And hit Done. And now the folder is there and I can drag the folder around or move it anywhere that I want. And if I drag it over another one, the other one just bounces up and I can uh, move it into that location. So it's very easy to just continue to add your games or your other apps to uh, to those to that folder. So I could just continue to do that. Sometimes it gets a little tricky and it wants to jump around. And so sometimes you just have to drop it to the um, to the screen and then move it over. So no problem. If I want to move this over to another screen, I can just click and drag to the edge and it's going to zoom me over to another screen and then I can drop those that folder uh, right where I want it. And the same thing goes for, for individual apps. Like if I want to move an app to another page, I just tap and hold on it and then drag it to the edge until it moves me over to another screen. So if I want to delete an app or a folder just from just from my home screen, this isn't actually going to uninstall it, I can go ahead and tap and hold and go up to remove and drop that there and it removes either the whole folder or the app. Notice that the same drop down option from the top comes down whether I'm holding an app or a folder of apps. Now, one of the nice things about Android, of course, is being able to add widgets to your screen. So let's go ahead and go from our app section here to widgets. Now, there are a lot of widgets that are available for apps. And, um, you know, you may be seeing some widgets right here that are available because of a specific app that I have involved, installed. Um, so, for example, if I wanted to add a widget such as maybe a daily Bible verse or something like that, or um, a simple clock or whatnot, all I have to do is tap and hold and drag it. So let's go to um, the standard analog, analog clock widget that uh, normally is on the home screen, but I had deleted. And I can just tap and notice that I can drag it around and put it wherever I want. The folders shift accordingly. I just go ahead and drag it and then it becomes a part of my home screen. And of course, just like an app or a folder, I can drag it to another screen if I want. And if I want to get rid of it, I can drag it and remove it very simply. Now, one of the things that you can't do on this device uh, and other stock Android versions um, is remove home screens or add more home screens. So notice that I'm in the middle here and when I hit home, the middle screen is my home and I can go over two screens and then from the center I can go over this way two screens. There is no way to add or remove screens. You're stuck with that amount unless you install a aftermarket launcher which is an app that you can download that actually does modify the way that your home screens and your folders and all of that stuff behaves. Essentially it's like skinning your device, giving it a new skin, a different, um, a different 
user experience. Uh, and some of those, sometimes those work really good and there's a lot of good ones out there. However, I, I do enjoy the stock Android experience and I guess my only complaint is not being able to delete these home screens that I'm not using. Uh, it's not really a big deal. It's just, you know, something that I've been used to in the past and can't do currently. So the apps down here below are also interchangeable. You can remove them, for example, if I didn't want the, uh, the Chrome app down there. I can easily drag it out and, uh, and add in maybe my calendar into that position instead. Um, it's, it's easy to modify and move all of these around. Maybe you like your phone app to be over on this side. You can change that stuff. It's very simple. Now, um, the tap and hold feature, which usually invokes a menu, only allows you to change your wallpaper. So you can change your wallpaper to an image that's saved in your gallery that maybe you took with your device with a camera or that you loaded onto your device. And then we also have live wallpapers and wallpapers. So let's take a look at live wallpapers where we have the ability to load these animated background wallpapers. So if I go ahead and set that as my wallpaper, my background is gonna be kinda of like this, this video kinda of animation that plays in the background. Um, and as you can see, this one kind of responds to, um, to touch and different things like that. It's kinda of interesting. Um, wallpapers are the standard wallpapers that are built into this device that you can choose from. Um, this is the one that uh, has came kind of standard on the device um, and uh, has been in a lot of the advertisements. Now, if I want to load a photo, I can tap on gallery and uh, I'm here in my gallery, but if I want to look at folders, I can choose um, you know, from different folders that are on my device as well. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this photo of my son, which previously was, was my uh, background. And I can just drag this bounding box around my, um, my subject or whatever, however I want to center and apply that to, to my device. And these little, little uh, circles here, you can click to drag and resize. It's showing you what your main, your center home screen is going to look like and then which portions of the uh, photo is going to be shown when you slide over to different windows. Um, so I'm going to hit OK, and it's going to go ahead and create that and set it as my wallpaper. And then when it's done, it will be applied as my wallpaper. So there's my background. And notice that when I do slide from side to side, I'm seeing different portions of that photo. Um, so uh, that's what that crop factor was right there. So that's how you customize the look and feel of your home screens, which of course is one of the great features of Android and definitely on the Moto X is a fun experience as well. So uh, keep in mind that you can use those uh, different launcher apps. And if you wanna learn more about launcher apps, you can go over to statatech.net where I show you some of the best launcher apps that are available to customize your Android experience. Thanks for checking out our video and hope to see you in another one soon.